All right, so we're back and we are going to have her go around her parents' home. This is her first time back home since her parents have died. So we're just gonna have her kind of go through the house, look over everything, kind of reminisce. And then she's going to go upstairs to her parents' office space. And she's just going to look through, you know, all this stuff to see if maybe she can find any clues on their deaths. So, yeah, she's just in here reminiscing about the time her and her parents would sit in here, laugh and talk. And now she's like, I have to find out what they were doing in that lab what they were looking over and just what happened like it just seems crazy to have your parents die and nobody tell you anything so she's looking through the shelves they've got some paperwork here and she's gonna look through all of that she's gonna look at this little table um, i don't think you can view that and she's just looking through everything to see if she can find like any proof of what her parents were working on, what they, you know, what caused the lab explosion. Okay, there's something she can't actually look at. You know, she's looking through all these papers and what she's noticing right now is that a lot of the stuff in these papers are redacted. So anything that could potentially help her clue together her parents' death are redacted in all these documents. She's also noticing that this table is really empty. She can see the water stains on where certain things used to be, but now almost everything is gone and it's just, you know, the plain stuff that they would use during any kind of, um, any kind of uh, science experiment, at least her dad. So she's not really seeing much of Oh, I've never noticed that moves. That's cute. She's not seeing most of it, nothing of anything. So now she's just going to see if she can go through. That's for me. She's going to see if she can go through the, the computer and see if she can find anything. So I don't think you can hack until you have some programming skills. So let's just say she's hacking into the computer, but she's not much of a hacker. And she's trying to see if she can find any information. And what she's realizing as she's looking through the computer is, once again, any documents that are on the computer are redacted. And she's actually found out a lot of the documents have been deleted. And obviously, there's no way for her to get these documents back. So basically what she's realizing within her parents' home office is there's little to no information that she can find both in their office, on their computers that will help her kind of understand what happened to her parents and, you know, how they died, what they were working on, anything like that. She's no closer to the truth. So... She is going to go to the bar. I know it's a little early for the bar, but who cares? <laughs> She's going to go ahead and go to the bar. She knows that the military personnel like to hang out there. And so she's going to go to the bar to see if she can find anyone. They used to work with her mom. That will be a little chatty. So... Go ahead and, oh, let's listen to some easy listening. Let's get a song. It's really early, but we should see some, there they, there are the trucks. Okay, that guy's walking really weird. Unfortunately, our girl doesn't see it, so she's not going to pick up on that unless she actually sees them. She's got, so she's in this conversation. She's just, um... She's going to ask about how Stranger Phil's been since the lab has exploded. Oh, and she's noticed some bizarre plants popping up around town. Keep the distance away from them. The scientists haven't 
So she's like, okay, so some weird plants are around. The scientists have been working on them. Is that custom content here? The scientists have been working on them. So maybe that's what her dad was actually working on before he died. But does that have anything to do with the explosion is the question. Who knows? But while I'm here, let's also spread some awareness and it throws about my job. So she's not really getting any luck here at the bar. Hopefully, hopefully a little bit later she will. So she's going to go ahead and order a drink. What drink do I want? I get a vodka soda. Let's get a vodka soda. She's a cheap gal. Oh, someone's got a purse too. Okay, I see you. Okay, she really likes that song. Oh, there's a guy. Is he gonna come in? Uh, come in the bar. There's usually like hella military people in the bar, but I think they come at a certain time. But our character, her name's Hinata. Oh, Hinata. Our character doesn't know that, so. She just came here. She's looking around. She's like, okay, when are they going to get here? And she's going to just ask him about Strangerville as well. Oh, they're going over here to talk. Was it some secret? Oh, look, I'm spreading the awareness. Okay, no, I just I was asking him about Strangerville, but <laughs> yeah, he's talking about the secret lab. Yeah, I've heard of it. It's where my parents were caught in the explosion and ended up dying. Do I have to? Okay. Let's spread some awareness because I am a conservator. So, meal prep time. I can't. Oh, I guess I could serve a meal. All right. So, she's not getting anywhere here. So, she's thinking maybe I should hit up the library and do a little research. And she knows that's where the scientists hang out. So, maybe she could talk to one of her dad's old colleagues. After she uses the bathroom, she's going to go ahead and head to the library and see if she can maybe talk to one of her dad's old colleagues because it seems like she'll have to come a little bit later to meet any military personnel. And the Sims take forever in the bathroom. Hurry up, lady. We got places to be. We got storylines to get through. Right? So we'll travel with myself to the library. And she's gonna see if she can find any of her dad's old colleagues here. You know, maybe she could see exactly maybe she can get a little hint of what happened but she's also going to search through the archives to see just what's up with this town you know there's these weird plants that the scientists are looking at there's the lab that exploded she did see something about some weird plants in her dad's notes but most of the information was redacted so she couldn't really get anything what the heck? Watch a Nini chop. Oh, I am slightly tipsy. Good thing I didn't drink too much. Wouldn't want to get drunk while I'm doing some investigation. There's a military person, right? Here's a scientist. Here comes a scientist. Oh, and she's coming to the library. 
we can ask her if she knew our dad and see if maybe we could get something out of her. As soon as I'm done going through the archives. Just, you know, reading about the history of Strangerville. Maybe something weird happened that I didn't know about. A blinding purple light in the sky. Ah, so where the lab was built long ago, there used to be a... There used to be a uh, crater. So she found out about a blinding light that caused the crater. So she's going to introduce herself. Yes. And she's asking, you know, did you did you know of my father? And she's like, oh, yeah, I did know your father. I didn't work under him, but I did work with him. So, yeah, she worked at until the crater. She now is the town itself. Okay. So let's ask her. We I mean, already know about her career. Let's just ask her since she worked there. Ask her if she knows what happens. And she's like, okay. <laughs> That's hilarious. So she's asking her, you know, what happened? She's like, you know, I can't talk about it. That is confidential information. But I can tell you that I was not at the lab when it happened. So she's like, okay. She's like, yeah, I have to go. You know, she's she's prying too much. She's prying too much. So she left. Uh, so now her new goal is to actually go to the lab later on tonight when no one's there to kind of peek around. So let's actually do this work from home thing because she needs something to do while she waits. So this is, I need to use the diving buoy, requires rebreather diving gear. What do I get diving gear from? So I'm going to go ahead and travel to Sulani. We're going to get that done. And I just need enough time to pass. Or I should say she needs enough time to pass. So that she can sneak into the... Well, which one should I go to? I'll go to this beach. She needs enough time to pass so she can sneak into the lab. And she can't do that until like late at night. So we're going to have her do a couple of things for her job while she waits i have no idea where to buy a, like diving gear like i have no idea look for a okay i need to find a buoy in deeper waters should i go to the other beach I've never done like scuba diving or anything in The Sims, so I have no idea what I'm doing. I th maybe I need to go to the other beach. I don't see any other. Uh... I can't survey the ocean floor if the water's too shallow, you know. So yeah, I'm gonna try that other beach. Maybe I can go there. All right, let's see if we can find. Okay, I can snorkel here. How do I buy um? How do I buy gear though? Hold on, let me look that up. Okay, so apparently you buy them at the buoy. This is just snorkel, so this doesn't say dive. So I think I need to find one that's like way out in the water. That'll let me actually dive because that's just snorkel. Uh, I may have to go like, huh? Hmm. All right, let's try somewhere else. I have no idea. I've, like I said, I've never done this before, so I have no idea where anything is with this. You'd think it'd be at the beach. Oh, look. Okay, so I went to that one, and that one wasn't it. It must be this one. How do I reach that, though? I don't want to go to someone's house just to do that. Here, I'll do. I'll go here. Because this is a residential area as well. 
and I'll try to find that second snorkel because I should be able to get to it from the beach, right? That was the first one. That's yeah, that told me to find something in open waters. I may have to visit that other that residential area just to get that's weird, Sims. Why would you do that? Why would you put the other scuba diving part on a residential lot? I don't get that. Is it this? I think that's the one I just went to. That is so weird. Why would they do that? Where am I? So this, this is where I am. And I clicked on that one. Oh, no, that was the other one. It was over here. <gasps> there it is. I found it. Now let me get the rebreather. Because I needed that. Should I also get... This is the spearfishing... Diving for seashells, for treasure. I'll get the camera too. Let's go ahead and survey the ocean floor. Let's do our work from home. I thought you wouldn't ever see her bathing suit, but since I made her a marine biologist. Um, so the story here while she's going there is that she actually always wanted to, you know, she's just as smart as her parents. And, you know, her dad was a scientist. Her mom was a military personnel. However, she did not like living in Strangerville. And she's always wanted to live on the beach. And so she thought if she became a marine biologist, she would be able to obviously live by the beach. But because of the tragic death of her parents and the mystery surrounding it, she decided after she graduated to move back to Strangerville so that she can find out exactly what happened at that lab that killed her parents. So yes, she has a very long commute when she has to do um, work from home session sessions, but she feels that it is worth it to figure out exactly what happened to her parents. So let's speed this up a little bit just so she can get to where she needs to be. And I haven't figured out what time I want her to actually go and survey, you know, the place. There's a dolphin that wants to talk to me, by the way. Well, am I too hungry to do it? Okay, I've done it now. So I'm doing the job. Oh, oh, he wants to investigate me. Well, he's gone now, so I doubt I'll have that happen. But go ahead and survey the ocean floor. Why won't it stay in the fast time? <laughs> Is it raining? Okay, I've got my lifestyle cap reached. Then we'll go home. We'll cook some dinner. I must have saw a dolphin. No. Not just oceanic splendor and on an adventure. Did I take pictures? I did. I got a picture. Yay. All right. I don't know if I can travel from here or if I have to. Oh, cool. Am I getting on this? <gasps> That's so cool. Shut up. That is so cool. Ah, what? I should have took that person's uh, little ski thingy. Girl, why didn't you do this before? Oh, I'm on my period. I have the slice of life mod, but I have auto save from being away from home. So she's, she automatically put on a tampon. So let's go home. We'll eat and then we'll visit the lab and we'll search around because it should be late enough for nobody to be there. I feel like realistically you'd go at like 1 a.m. <laughs> But I don't want her to be like super tired from work. So she's going to risk it and go at like a little bit earlier. Oh, Lord. What is this? Ugh. Clean that up. Wait, I'm not eating that stuff. Now let's have some. Mm, let's do a salad. After you throw that out, we don't want it. Oh, I didn't give her a dishwasher. Oh, well. 
I acquired all oh, the gourmet cooking skill. Whoa, I'm as fancy. Go ahead and eat your little salad so we can go and explore this lab. Okay, how long does it take to eat a salad? So, the Sims said they solved this, but as you can see, my Sim just went to the bathroom to wash her dish when she was literally standing here and could have went here. It doesn't matter because it's not, you know, not like she took up so, too much time, but let's change you back to your everyday. Should we change her? In? Actually, let's... Because she's staying in the guest room. Is this how you... Yeah, let's actually put her in like a sneaky outfit, like a black hoodie with some black pants. I don't know if the Sims have ski masks, but if they do, we'll do that. Just so it it makes sense that, oh, she's going in there. She's sneaking around. Like, you don't want her in her like plain clothes. So let's give her a second every day. And we'll take everything off. I think these are accessories. I think this accessory is in here. All right. So now let's see if we can find a sweatshirt. Here's a black hoodie. Or should I do something like that? Does that look like she's about to do some B&E? And then we'll do some black pants. Hmm. Yeah, some long pants. Yeah. And then we'll do black shoes. And I'll see if I can find... I don't know if they have, like... I mean, I guess I could put her on a hood. If nothing else works. Do they have, like, a ski mask? I know, but they have this. That'll work, too. I mean, no one will see who you are. Here, we'll... We'll see if we can get something a little bit, like... Okay, we can get her a Catwoman mask. <laughs> it's, that, it's that two on the nose. <laughs> um, let's see. That's custom content, by the way. I have a whole Catwoman outfit. That's why I have that. I was doing like um, a costume party and I kept... And I got tired of them wearing like the same costumes. This would work if they had it in black. Shoot. I wish the Sims had, a freak, had freaking ski masks. So we'll do the hood. I feel like that's more, that makes the most sense. Should I find something that works with the hood or should I just leave it alone? Let's just quickly go through some of these jackets. I feel like it should be, yeah, I don't think any of these jackets are gonna work either. I bet it's like a full body robe thing that goes with it, I bet. I should have just downloaded some custom content like burglar outfits. I should have downloaded some ski masks. I don't see anything. Maybe it's in the... Oh, those are tattoos. Maybe it's in the style looks. I'm just gonna... Go all the way to the end. While so many style looks. Oh, they're 80? Jesus. See, like, where's this? Uh, is that too much, though? Yeah, that might be too much. So let's go back to the hoodie. I think it was this one. And this is her sneaky outfit. All right, we're good on that. Hopefully she's actually wearing it. Okay, now we have to actually change into that outfit. And now we can go... Sneaking around the lab. <laughs> She's probably going to get sleepy in like an hour. Because no matter what, she's going to find out just what the heck happened to her parents. Look at that. So those are those strange plants that the lady was talking about at the bar. So we're gonna go ahead and take a picture of that. There's a door here, I believe. All right, and then we're also going to, I'm gonna pause it so I can like look at all the stuff. 
Okay, nothing useful. Nothing useful. So I can't search for evidence yet. So I'll view the plant and maybe... I mean, she's a marine biologist, so she doesn't know much about plant life. But she can at least get something. You know, she's smart enough to get something. And what she found is the bizarre plant has an odd glow about it, as if it is being controlled by some other entity. It looks as though there is something growing inside of it. So can I, since I looked at the plant, can I? Maybe it's on one of the computers. Yeah, you could do the computers too. Oh, I think that's later. No, I didn't mean to do that. That's so weird. Last time I just came in here and started searching. Maybe I just have to like, let's go to this door. Okay, so she's she saw the weird plant. So she's walking in. She sees the place is... The lab has been rebuilt, but it's a mess, clearly. And then she sees this door. She's like, okay, what's behind here? So she's looking, how do I get into this secret lab? She sees a little key card thingy here. Maybe you need a pass to get in. So she can kind of see what's going on. So yep, the door's locked and it requires a key card. Someone around the town might know how to get one before leaving, poke around the lab to gather more information. Ah, oh, and now she sees all these papers laying around. So she is going to just search through these papers for some evidence. I probably can't search through everything tonight. She did get a pack of mysterious seeds in there which may have been one of the things redacted from her father's notes. So we'll leave once she gets tired, but we'll search through as much stuff as possible. Now, hopefully we can get at least this half of the building done before she starts to get sleepy and has to go home. So she's looking. And this is stuff is not redacted so some of it is redacted but it's a little less redacted in her father's paperwork and she's starting to see um things that kind of match what he was looking at and she found what did that say a glitched hologram readout so it's glitched so she can't use it she found a hastily scrawled note so i think all these have different evidence right I can't do the computers yet because you have to have a high hacking skill. And as we've already figured out, our girl can't hack. So what? this will be the first room after she's done with those two. So we'll see if we can get over here. So it looks to be only like two, three more things to search for other than the computers, which we can't do right now. She found another pack of those mysterious seeds. Now she's making her way over here. Was it the hastily scrawled note? Nope. Again, a partially redacted report, which she can't look at, of course. Are these going in her inventory? Okay, yeah. This is for my job. <laughs> uh, sell, sell. At, what is? Ah, oh, I didn't even see what that was. Oh shoot! What was that? Shoot, well, shoot. I think that was a part of my job though. I don't think that was, I don't think that was a part of this. I was trying to read it. Okay, she doesn't seem like she's getting tired. So we'll search through these last two pieces of evidence. I don't think there's anything in here. So let's look at all the things she's gotten so far. Some seeds. She's got, um, well, she got a photo of the plant. She's got a bunch of seeds, a glitched hologram readout, a hastily scrawled note, and a partially redacted report. And she just keep getting seeds at this point. Okay, she has to pee, but she doesn't have to like go. To... So we'll search these last two piles and then we'll head out of here because it's getting late and she doesn't want to be here too long because she doesn't want to get caught. Oh, she found an aerial surveillance photo. So now she's searching through the last 
bit of evidence and she's really nervous she's trying to hurry up she doesn't want to get caught but she's got to find everything that she can find okay and what are you gonna find girlfriend hurry it up she found a, a clan this clandestine dongle i have no idea what that is but she's see as you can see she's really sad she's at the place where her parents died but it is time to now go home you did enough investigating it is time to go to the bathroom go to bed and we can finish the rest of this on her next day so let's go upstairs um let's use this bathroom because it's closer and then we'll have her go to sleep because i'm sure she's like tired and this is where I'm going to end off this episode. Tomorrow we'll have her compare the notes that she found um, versus uh, what's on her dad's computer and see if maybe she can get a little closer to the truth. If not, of course, she's going to ask around town and again, see if she can pry some information out of someone now that she actually has some evidence we'll see if we can meet with logan again she kind of ran out of the library very quickly when we brought up um when we asked about what happened at the lab so maybe we'll hang out at the library and we'll find her again or we'll see a new scientist um who knows but that's going to be for tomorrow so i will see you guys in the next episode Bye-bye.